what is up you guys today we are going to go hit up some golf course ponds our main target today are tarpon but there's a whole lot of other species uh, that we're probably going to get into stay tuned at the end of the video i'm going to go over the rig that i was using today to get these tarpon make sure if you guys enjoy this video to leave a like and subscribe down below and without further ado let's get to the footage We got some tarpon rolling in front of us. For these tilapia, I just like to go through the uh, both their lips, just like that. They're definitely rolling out here. We have a small window to catch them, though. Once that sun comes up, they seem to shut down. There's a lot of tarpon out here, man. They're rolling all over. There's one right there, a couple of them over there. <laughs> a little baby tarpon right there. Oh shit, we got one. That's a good one. That's him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we just got torn. That was probably a snook. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Frayed my leader right up. Whoa. <laughs> Big snook. Shaking already. I'm going to swap to a uh, circle hook. I prefer the J-hooks for tarpon, but definitely a circle hook for the uh, snook. Keeps that hook on the side of their mouth, and it's harder for them to fray your leader. I had loose drag on that fish, 25 pound test, and he still broke it like it was nothing. Alright, let's try it again. With these bigger baits, I just go out the top of it. Alright, take two. Jeez, these mosquitoes are out, man. Alright, well, while the sun's up, I guess we're snook fishing. There's tons of tarp in here. But I think uh, they'll start eating later in the day when the cloud cover comes in. I will take a big snook, though. They seem to like these big tilapia. Oh, I got one on me. Alright, we just had a big fish wake on my... Uh, look like a tarpon. I got a big tilapia on this, so it might take a second for me to get it. I think that was a tilap or a uh, tarpon. Oh, I got him. Yep. Got him. I got him. I think so. He's going to jump. Oh, it's a snook, big snook. <laughs> really big one. Huh? That's a really big one.
Yeah. Slide. Yeah, I'm gonna maybe just try to walk him up here. No. <laughs> Dang it, I always forget it. Yeah, I'm gonna try to swing him right up here. Big boy. <sighs> you just swing him right up there. That's a, That's a slob, you guys. Look at the size of that one. Dang, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a real nice, nice one. Nice start to the day. I actually missed one. Probably about the same size. He made a big run just like this girl. But uh, let's get her back in the water. That was on one of the biggest tilapia we had, too. Look at the tail on her. Got a little bait on now. See if we can get a tarpon. Bottom lip, right out the top lip. Looks like so. Loop knot. I actually spotted a giant alligator in this exact spot a couple days ago. So you definitely have to keep an eye out for them. I have a bunch of little minnows nibbling on my legs. Alright, so we actually just took a little break. We're actually waiting for this pressure system to come. It'll bring in some clouds and some wind, and that's really what turns on these tarpon. But that snook I just caught, we didn't have a ruler with me, so I just measured it out on a piece of leader, and now we're able to measure it here. So we're going to mark it, put it at the zero, a zero, the stretcher out, that fish that about right on 34 inches. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. Definitely a nice fish, one inch over slot. I can't complain, but let's see if we can go get a tarpon now. See you guys on the water. Big old bald eagle on a tree over there. Look how far away he is. There he is. 
Holy sh! That scared the f out of me. Alright, so there's some tarpon rolling out there. I'm gonna get over there. I don't know if you guys noticed, but that front is here and it is windy and cloudy. And generally, that's what the tarpon like. the green. Oh, I got one. Oh, dude, that was a tarpon. Yeah, I saw him. I was reeling in my bait and I saw him go... Yeah. Dang, you guys must have saw that, but I was reeling in my bait and I saw that fish come flash on it. Paused it, took the bobber under, and I just messed up the hook set. Man. Let's see if he comes back for it. That was definitely a torpin bite. It's nice to see that they're finally feeding. And it was real big. Did it pop it? Or you just swirled? It looked like someone dropped a bullet ball on my <laughs> Really? Yeah. Jesus. Like there was just a pool around it and then my bobber Oh, I got one. I got a big one. Oh no way, dude. Oh my gosh. That was him. That was, that was a boil on my bait, just like you're saying. All right, you guys, tarpon are feeding. That was a nice one. I hope you guys saw that jump. That fish jumped clear out of the water. Wasn't paying attention, just messed it. Freed up my leader pretty good. Man, I'm shaking. Cannot seem to catch one of these freaking fish. Two tarpon bites, two misses. Let's do it again. Got a big old freshwater ladyfish. Sort of like a tarpon. But not really. Alright you guys, well I just went to cast net some more mullet for bait. It actually ended up tearing my net to shreds on a, uh, a underwater tree. But look what I ended up catching here. Little sheep's head. That's actually the first one I've caught here. And I have caught bass here, and obviously there's bluegill and tilapia. That's what we're using for bait. So that's pretty sweet. There's sheep's head here. Alright, it's day two. We had a cold front hit last night. So I don't know what it's going to do to these tarpon, but we picked up some really nice sized shiners. This is definitely what they want to eat, so. We should have a good shot at a tarpon if they're here. <laughs> I think that's a snook. Is that a cat? It's a big cat. I got something on. That has to be a snook. Yeah, it's a little, might be a redfish actually. It looks real red or golden. Yeah. I don't know. It looks like a redfish the way it's fighting. Yeah, it's a red. I think you got the red fish. 
Redfish on a shiner, you guys. Are you guys on the live shiner while we're fishing for tarpon? He hooks this nice red fish. 26 and a half. Nice one. There she goes. Good fish. That was pretty unexpected. Nice little redfish on a shiner. There's some tarpon rolling out here though, so it's only a matter of time till we get the right bite. Tarpon on you guys. Tarpon. Let's go. Little guy. <laughs> Get him up there. Get him in the net. Got him. <laughs> Thank you, net man. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Hook came right out. <laughs> All right, guys. Baby tarpon. Not a bad little one. Tiny one, but finally we caught him. That's awesome. Let's get him back in the water. Oh, okay. Crazy little guys. Oh no way, dude! Got wrecked. That was a tarpon. You think so? Oh, I got one. Oh my gosh! Oh. oh, I got one. Oh my gosh, dude! I was looking at you, and this tarpon jumped out of the water with my bait. Every time I'm distracted. That always freaking happens. We go. Oh my gosh, dude. Here we go. Oh my gosh, dude. What is going on? All right, you guys. You made it to the end of the video. That was just downright embarrassing. Wanted to go over the rig though that I was using. There's been a lot of people asking me about it. For these tarpon, I like to start off with a 25 pound leader. Now if these fish are picky and they're not eating 25 pound leader, I will we'll then downsize to 20. And then if they're still not eating, I'll go down to 15. As you guys saw in the video though, there are some big snook in that lake. So I don't want to go too low to start off, just in case you do hook a big snook. Anything less than 25, it's very unlikely to land a fish over 30 inches. Now for the size of the hook, it really depends on what size bait you're using. For shiners, I like to use a 1.0 circle hook, uh, but for bigger tilapia, you could go up to a 2.0 or a 3.0. So the problem that was happening in our video that we just took was I was using this rod right here. This is a calico jack rod. It's a medium action rod, and it's great for redfish and snook. However, it is not the best for small tarp, and it is a little stiff. A lot of times when those tarpon would jump, they would either pull the hook out of their mouth or bend the hook straight just because there was not a lot of uh, leeway, even though our drag was really loose. Now I did go out about a day after the, I filmed this video and we had much better luck at tarpon. We went like, I think I went two for four and my buddy caught two as well. And the difference that we did is we used lighter rods. This is a medium light Crowder rod. And if I were to describe this rod as sort of like a noodle. It's very loose, very light action to it. 
and that allows the fish when they jump, it kind of absorbs their head shakes in the air and that hook doesn't pull out or bend as easily as with the heavier rod. Now as far as the bobber, I, I put the bobber about a foot and a half above the hook. Uh, you really don't need the bobber, you could freeline as well. Uh, for mullet and for shiners, a lot of times they'll stay up near the surface. For tilapia, if you don't put a bobber on, they'll go to the bottom. And that's not usually where these tarpon are feeding. These tarpon are usually at the top of the water column, so that's when I would like to peg them with a the bobber. Also, sometimes it just gives it some casting distance, so uh, that obviously would help. But that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, peace.